Welcome back, nice to see you again, thank you for coming on time, God bless you. I really appreciate this. So now we are first going to the famous Stanley Fulton Museum. After the channel we will go to the Olympic Mountain and we will travel during the time of the Ottoman Empire. It's a memorial monument to all victims and fighters of the Second World War. It was keeping the central bank during the century. Now it's keeping inside the national in 14 governments. Is there. After the National Museum, there is on the left side historical museum. You idiot, yeah. I'm telling you, there is always difficult people. Yeah, you cannot please everyone. It is impossible task. We are living the country with six countries in one: Serbia, Croatia, Montenegro, Macedonia, Bosnia, and Slovenia. Tito was the president of Yugoslavia from 1945, let's say after the Second World War, till 1980. Usually people ask me what was the biggest mistake of the Tito. He died. Tito should never supposed to die. Tito died in 1980 on 4th of May at 3 o'clock and 5 minutes. When he died, it was the biggest funeral in history of the world. 127 countries came to the funeral of the legendary president. Well, uh, states came as well, by the way. Jimmy Carter was the president of the states back then because he didn't want to see a Russian president face to face in the funeral. He sent his mother to the funeral of the Tito. Uh, Jimmy Carter is still alive. He's 95 years old, which is amazing. I'm asking myself, how is it possible that a president of the states are living so long? Because to be the president of the states is one of the most difficult jobs in the world. For example, Barack Obama was black, now he's white. <laughs> you white hair, yeah. So it's stressful, trust me, it's not easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they didn't want to allow us to send the news all around the world. That's why Sarajevo was two days without any connection with the rest of the world from the 2nd of May till the 4th of May. The United Nations French Army took over the airport. So Sarajevo became non-flying zone. Uh, Croatia is making from tourism only $10 billion per year. Do you know the word propaganda? Yes. And the media power, he was using media power to turn their neighbors against each other. So Serbia came inside the um, Bosnian with the special units, weapons and everything, gave the weapons to the Bosnian Serbs because back in the days Tito was living there, so the main army of Yugoslavia was there. On the left side we can see International Airport of Sarajevo, which was restored after the war in 1998. This area of the city is called Ilija. Thank you for allowing me to be myself. Well, this is me, I'm not pretending to be someone else. So we are in the free Bosnian territory. In, uh, one minute. Uh, on the left side, that's the international airport of Sarajevo. Many people work and come from this side and 130 persons from this side. So you saw the house that we were passing next to. That house was a point B. So they were digging the tunnel from the Sarajevo side and from this side, 24 hours, non-stop, changing every two days in different ships. They were using shovels and a wheelbarrow, no machines, no satellite images, and they managed to meet under the airport in one spot after four months and four days of dinner. In four months and four days, the tunnel was finished on 30th July 1993 at 8 o'clock and 15 minutes during the night. So we started to build the tunnel 10 months after the beginning of the war. War started 2nd of May 1992. We started to build the tunnel in March 1993. Two houses. They had some mistakes, yeah, but in that difficult condition, they managed to meet under the airport, making the sounds inside the tunnel. When they finished the tunnel, it went under the airport in 5 meters, long 800 meters, wide 1 meter, and high 1 meter and 60 centimeters. 
because we people in Boss Average are told, not me, but many of them are, we have to do this. To bring the food inside the city. <laughs> which is Olympic side of the city. Airport runway was blocked with a fence, so it was not allowed to cross it. Many people did. Serbian forces were on these sides with the snipers, killing people on the airport runway who were trying to cross it. So we moved usually during the night. I moved with my family from this part of the city all the way at 3 o'clock in the morning, everything was dark, to this section of the city where my uncle was living in his apartment. We moved in 1994. And behind you, right there, it's the list of the people who built the tunnel. It's about 400 people who were building the tunnel. And next to the, it's the number, how many days they were digging. One. Uh, this is an example of the tunnel before we see the original one. Just to show you outside how it was built from the wood, this side. Can't wait. Okay. <laughs> 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 he has a problem now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Johnny Depp has a little bit problem okay. now as well. I, I'm following the context of this museum. Remember the red stains on the floor? Yeah. Sarajevo roses? Well, usually when these mortar shells fell on the group of the people, because of this one, 67 people died. What is the problem? Uh, usually it's the floor. Travelers are flying everywhere. Pieces of the water, very sharp. Daniel was never part of Yugoslavia. Um. This是真的,那个隧道当年建了一米宽,一米六三高,大概是八百米吧,的隧道,四个出口,四个入口,这其中的一个入口,四个之一。这个就是那个museum,我们从这边出来,这是它museum周围的景色。小房子周围的房子还
No te preocupes, señor. Oh, I love Spanish, actually. I don't speak Spanish so much, but trust me, if I go to Mexico at least half a year, I will manage to learn it. Because uh, uh, in Bosnia, there are famous Mexico TV novelas. Esmeralda, Marisol, very famous. 从这个车上下来你看这个view 是一个典型的山城有点很像那个瑞士的感觉好我现在坐着车然后开一段的话呢就应该到了那个hiking的地方那司机带我们开到这个trail的门口你看它这个trail就是在这个地方他们可能从那个trail里边进来一会儿呢